I know a secret. Did you know that the beaches in Mississippi on the coast are man-made? All the way from Ocean Springs to Bay St. Louis. Over 26 miles. Let's start with Ocean Springs. Established in 1699, it's a city of discovery and it has a wonderful little downtown area with a bunch of quaint shops and restaurants and a place I really liked was the ice cream shop. Look at those chocolates. And there's the ice cream with homemade waffle cones. USA Today ranked Ocean Springs, Mississippi, the number one small coastal town with populations of under 25,000. As we cross over the Biloxi Bay Bridge, we come to Biloxi. Just like Ocean Springs, Biloxi was first settled in 1699. In 1848, the Biloxi Lighthouse was erected and it would become the symbol of Biloxi. At the turn of the century, Biloxi was home to numerous shrimp and oyster canneries and processing plants. At that point, Biloxi was known as the seafood capital of the world. A dark day in the Mississippi's coast history is August 29, 2005. That was the day Hurricane Katrina made landfall. Over 90% of the buildings along the coast in Biloxi and neighboring Gulfport had been destroyed. Today, Biloxi is known as Las Vegas of the South. Before gambling was legalized in the early 1990s, Biloxi would have ships that would take visitors in the harbor and sail out 12 miles into international waters where gambling was legal. When gambling finally became legal in 1992 in Biloxi, the law said it, the casino had to be on the water floating. So designers came up with joining together barges and then you could build the casino on top of the barges. Treasure Bay opened in 1994. Hurricane Katrina destroyed it in 2005, as you can see. Reopened in 2006. This resort has over 100 rooms. Our next casino is Beau Rivage. It was opened in 1999. It's a sister casino to Bellagio in Las Vegas. When it opened, it was the largest casino in the U.S. outside of Las Vegas. Hurricane Katrina also seriously damaged the resort and hotel. Hard Rock Casino was originally scheduled to open on September 1st, 2005. Hurricane Katrina struck the Gulf Coast at the end of August, the day before the casino was supposed to open. The casino and resort were completely destroyed. They did not open until 2007. Next, we have Harris Gulf Coast with 499 rooms and part of Caesars Entertainment. Margaritaville with Paradise Pier is next door to the Golden Nugget. The Golden Nugget opened in 2014, but was originally the very first casino in Biloxi, the Isle of Capri. Palace Casino Resort is on the back bay of Biloxi, and it's the first and only smoke-free casino. Let's make it funky in Gulfport, Mississippi. Population of 72,000, Gulfport is home to a very interesting alley, Fishbone Alley. This alleyway is behind bars and restaurants and it's decorated with lots of colorful murals. The Mississippi Aquarium is also located in Gulfport. You can see lots of dolphins, otters, beavers, alligators, and lots of other native species. Gulfport Harbor is next. You can take an excursion out to Ship Island, which is 12 miles south of the mainland, and enjoy the beaches, watch the dolphins, and really have a great time. They also have sunset cruises. Gulfport also has a casino, Island View and Beach View, which are right across the street from each other, connected by an overhead walkway. Driving along the man-made beach, you're going to see lots of homes that are built in the air. They're built this way to allow the rising gulf water to flow underneath without impacting the living area. Long Beach. This area has had many names, beginning with Bear Point and finally settling on Long Beach. It's named for the long sloping beaches with white sand. It also was known as the radish capital of the world and it achieved coastwide reputation as the vegetable market area. Long Beach is also home to the Friendship Oak. I was a sapling when Columbus sailed into the Caribbean and fully grown by Napoleon's reign. Over 500 years old, this live oak has withstood not only Hurricane Katrina in 2005, but Hurricane Camille in 1969. 
Legend has it that those whose shadows fall under this oak will remain friends for life. Much of downtown Long Beach has had to be rebuilt due to those devastating hurricanes, but they did rebuild and Main Street is beautiful. While I was there, I stopped at the Harborview Cafe for some breakfast. The gentleman beside me comes for breakfast every day. He doesn't know a stranger and gave me lots of suggestions on what was good. He's lived many different places in the U.S., but Long Beach has been his home for over 40 years. Past Christian, welcome to the pass. Past Christian was officially chartered as a town in 1848. After a free man of color, Charles Asmar, left what is now the entire downtown to his heirs. If you watch ABC's Good Morning America, you've probably heard about the pass. Robin Roberts grew up here and her family actually still live in this area. You can actually go to Robin's Nest, which is a gift shop her family owns, and right next door is Roberts Place Cafe. A large part of Past Christian is designated as a National Historic District. This is Past Christian's Harbor. All of those boats you see with those big nets on them are shrimp boats. So, where are we now? We've been on Beach Boulevard, Highway 90, heading west towards Bay St. Louis. It's truly amazing how many live oak trees have withstood all of the hurricanes that have made landfall in this area. As we approach the St. Louis Bay Bridge, you can see the carving on the cement piling of shrimp boats. This bridge was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina in August 2005 and reopened to traffic in May 2007. The bridge is 2.1 miles long and it connects past Christian to Bay St. Louis. If you look, you can see our next destination across the bay, Bay St. Louis. While Ocean Springs took the number one place for USA Today, 10 best small coastal towns under 25,000 people, Bay St. Louis took number two. This is a quaint seaside town and it calls itself a place apart. It has a really friendly community, great downtown, store lined Main Street, restaurants, museums. They also have an over eight mile canoe and kayak trail. Driving through downtown Bay St. Louis, you're gonna see the angel trees. These were once live oaks and they have actually saved lives during the devastating Hurricane Katrina. It's said that three people and their dog clung to one of these trees during the rising waters and those horrible winds. A chainsaw artist carved angels into the trees and it's become a memorial to the survivors so touching. But Bay St. Louis is also a place of joy and fun. There's kayak and canoe trails, those man-made secret beaches, lots to see and do, antiquing, shops, restaurants, something for everyone. So there you have it. The secret is out. The Mississippi Gulf Coast is a haven of man-made beaches, irresistible charm, and it's waiting for you. Have you been to the man-made beaches in Mississippi? Let me know in the comments. Come have a wonderful time enjoying the Mississippi Gulf Coast. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Safe travels.